In the 19th century, a determined bunch of economists wanted to make economics a science as reputable as physics. So, inspired by Newton's laws of motion that so accurately describe the movement of planets, they searched for economic laws that could describe the movement of markets. But by trying to turn their theories into maths, they ended up with models based on equilibrium. Models that had little capacity to predict, let alone respond to, real-world boom and bust. No wonder hardly anyone saw the crash coming. It's time to ditch the physics envy and embrace economic complexity with its spiralling feedbacks, emergent trends and surprise tipping points. Through this systems thinking lens, we can start to understand our ever-evolving world, from the rise of the 1% to the collapse of ecosystems. And that's why 21st century economists won't think of themselves as engineers controlling the levers of the economy, but as gardeners, tending to and shaping the economy as it evolves. So let's take off the hard hat and put on some gardening gloves. It's time to get savvy with systems. And the question is this, how should that economic garden be designed? <laughs>